page here in my little redstone testing world. And what we have here is a staircase. In this staircase is a door. It's a very, very secret door. With secret activation. But let me demonstrate. Up here. Drop an item on top of that stair. It opens. It's all seamless. All that good stuff. It's on that side. Come through. Hit, this hit the little pressure plate. And it closes it for you. So it opens it. Closes it on a timer. As a bonus, whatever item you drop gets kicked back out to you. Go here. Exit. Closes behind you. After a second or so. Drop an item. It opens up. Here's my item. Works for any item. Doesn't really matter what you use. That's all there is to it. Not too big. Machinery. Nine wide. Only three long. A total of six blocks tall for all the machinery. And that right there, this is everything you need. Two pistons, two sticky pistons, six comparators, four repeaters, three droppers, three hoppers, three torches, 11 pieces of redstone, pressure plate, stone pressure plate, whatever. And of course, some stairs and stone bricks. And it gives you a glorious hidden door in a staircase. Let's go ahead and start building this. Go ahead and grab all the stuff out of here. All right, all their stuff over right here. This is dug four blocks deep. It's nine by three. Would be pretty much all the space we need. We had to time time glance at this because I am not Mr. Memorization. Start with go over a few blocks from here. This bit is a pulse sustainer. It is a uh, beta circuit style. Every time it goes around this, it takes two ticks. Signal strength goes down by one. And that is the key part making the inside signal and keeps the door open for a while before it closes. The signal re goes down to zero. That's when the door closes. Pop a redstone torch on top of here. Put a redstone dust there. Here, gonna be a repeater. Here we've got a block, a spot of redstone on top of it. It's gonna be the input. Okay, this block up here. So, stone pleasure plate. And on this side, a dropper. A hopper going into that dropper. It's a monostable circuit. By far, my favorite monostable circuit. I like it a lot. We will use two of those monostable circuits in this build. This side, that same circuit, and do it vertical. There. Dropper. Hopper. Oh, this is a place where you need a handful of generic blocks of some sort. 
There we go. Each one of these gets a single lock in the dropper. Upper dropper, monostable circuits. Of course, get a signal out of it. Comparator. Right next to the hopper. Go. And we're going to build up circuit on this side that powers the pistons. And it really is that simple. Look up there. It's redstone. Oh. This side gets the non-sticky pistons. Alright. So, door closing mechanism. That's it. So on this, after a bit of time, those pistons will cycle. It's a bit of time after you get off that pressure plate. So you want to stand on the pressure plate, the door will stay open. Well. Alright. Now. Go with the activation side. This is slightly weirder. This is being activated both by our hidden activation where you drop an item and it gets sucked into a hopper, and it's also being activated by the pressure plate both. So what you get is kind of a funky little maze of pieces. Now, if you stretch these out, it'd be a lot easier to see, but This is uh, much more compact. A bit of trickiness in getting things compacted. So that goes there. And I can go quick over look over here to reference that. That one goes vertical and then goes diagonal. Right, so the signal from pressure plate comes down there. Signal from secret activation comes down to here, activates the same monostable circuit. This gets a torch. Lock. There. Yeah, see. Slightly confused, that's all. Alright. Lock, lock. Redstone. Heater. And this thing's gonna look a lot like the other side. Powering the pistons in basically the same way. Now this will be our two sticky pistons. Alright. Now you do our secret activation system. A uh, disposal lock. Hopper. Put a hopper going into that. That lock doesn't need to be there. I mean, it can be there. It's not going to hurt anything. But it doesn't need to be there. a block here. Two blocks there. Just one block. But there. Block there. There. And a block there. So we taking a signal out of both sides of that hopper. You put a comparator there, and you put a comparator there. Now this side is purely just a circuit to give you your item back. All it needs is this redstone and a repeater to four ticks just to give it time for it to cycle through. 
That's all. That's easy. This side, um, well, I need a bit more complicated. This goes right there. This redstone goes on top of it. And then down here. Lock. And a repeater. It's into a block. And that is all of the wiring. That's it. Alright, a few seconds ago, I went and ran a test and it didn't work because I realized I accidentally placed a repeater when I meant to replace a comparator. So if you're looking at what I did earlier, I'm pretty sure I said comparator when I placed a repeater here, but this is supposed to be a comparator down here coming out of this monostable circuit, because obviously you can't read the status of the inside of a inventory block with a repeater. That's not how those work. Alright. Well, anyways. Now, all the wiring's done. Opens, closes. Come over here. Throw in whatever. Opens. And closes. But, you know, you really... You don't want to finish this off a little bit. I'll do that really quick. Unsuspecting. Just pop over here, drop an item, and it opens up. There's your item. Back up again, and it closes itself. Done. How do we like that? Not so hard. Completely hidden. No one will suspect to drop an item right there. Alright. I call that some success. Goodbye, everybody.